If you're watching this video, that means your system is completely set up and ready to go. All I want to do in this video is show you how to send your patient a review request. And there is some important protocol you need to understand, particularly if you're in the medical field. So what you're going to do is you're going to make sure you're on bestlocalreviews.com and you are logged into the system. Now, if you're not logged in, talk to your manager, find out what your username or password is, and log in. And you'll always want to have this window open and bookmarked and ready to open so that you can send a review request right away. Now, what I encourage you to do is to be on this window where it says request new review. This is really the only window you're ever going to have to be on. Now, let's go back just a moment. In video two, I show the doctors, dentist, hygienist, etc., how to ask a patient to write a review. I also showed them how to transfer the patient up to the front counter and make sure that they introduce the patient to you so that the patient knows you're going to send them a review request. Now, remember, this is the window you're going to always have open. So let's assume the doctor walks up front and says to you, Hey, Julie, Bob has offered to write a review. Will you please send him a review request? Boom, you pop open this window right here. While you do that, I strongly encourage you to say something like this. Hey, Bob, thanks for offering to write a review. It means the world to us. Very simple, nice transition. Bob now knows that it's important to everyone there that he follow through with his promise to write a review. You go to this window, request new review, and here's what you do. You type in Bob's first name, capital B-O-B, -B, not all caps. I see a lot of doctors and dentists use all caps. You don't want to do that because it looks funny in the email that goes out. Now, because of HIPAA requirements, you're only going to type in the first letter of the patient's last name. Then you're going to type in their email address. But I want to tell you this up front. 10% of all the doctors and dentists all over the world that send review requests accidentally type in an email that does not exist. They transpose a couple of letters. Uh, they, they just don't take their time to do it. So I encourage you, when you ask your patient for their email, you do it like this. Bob, can I get your primary email address, please? And you ask for their primary address because you want them to open the email that they're most likely to get. Then, after you type it in, I strongly encourage you to do this as well. Bob, can I repeat your email to make sure I typed it in correctly? You always want to make sure that if a mistake was made, the patient thinks that you made it. And what do you care? You get the right email. That's important. Now, this checkbox is really only there for you to see if, in fact, you have sent this patient a review request months or years ago. That's what it's there for. Now, depending on which system you have, if you have the solo or basic system, there's only going to be one person's name here. If you have one of the more advanced systems, you can select from all the people that are providing the service their name. So in this case, I'm going to uh, assume that Julie Henderson was the one that asked the patient to write a review. Now, the last thing down here is the flyer coupon, and you may or may not be aware of this. But every single patient that you ask to write a review, you have the opportunity of sending them a flyer about your practice or a coupon about your practice. Now, if you don't know what that coupon or flyer says or the text that accompanies it, I encourage you to ask your manager so that he or she can show you what it says. You can also go over here to system settings and click on a, a coupon flyer thank you redirect and you can actually see what the coupon is that you all have set up for your practice. Now, here I've just obviously made some up a $99 new patient special that a dentist might use or $5 off a flu shot that an urgent care might use. But I would encourage you to leave it wherever it is set as the default because that's what your manager or doctor physician has decided to do. Once you've done that, all you have to do is click on Submit Request, and that request is sent right away. So let me just quickly go through this one time and show you how it's done. The patient walks up to the counter. The doctor or dentist has introduced them to you at the counter. You are on Best Local Reviews. You are on this Request New Review window. You are ready to go. The doctor says, hey, Julie, Bob has offered to write a review. Will you please send him a review request? As you're opening up this window, you say, hey, Bob, thanks for offering to write a review. It means the world to us. You type in my first name, 
the first letter of my last name. You ask me for my primary email address, and then you repeat it back to make sure it's correct. And remember, 10% of all the emails are inaccurate. This is one simple way of getting 10% more reviews by typing it incorrectly. You select the service provider, if you have that choice, of who was the one that served that patient, and then you have it set to the coupon or flyer, and you hit submit request. Now, if your system is set up so that you want referrals. Again, talk to your manager about this. If you're sending a $99 new patient special coupon, for example, or whatever it is you created, you're going to see it on your system. It's not what I have here. I want to show you how to ask for a referral, and this is a big deal. Before I hit submit request, what I would do after I type a name, email, and select the service provider, if it was a $99 new patient special, and if I were working at a dental office, I would say something like this to my patient before I hit that submit request button. Hey, Bob, if it's okay, I'd like to send along a new patient special coupon and ask you to forward that on to your family and friends that are looking for a dentist. May I do that? you're going to find everyone is going to say yes and just click on submit request. Now, in the highly unlikely event, one of your patients says, no, no, I don't want a digital coupon to share with my friends. You can always come down to here where you see thank you message and click on that and that will stop the sending of the coupon or flyer. But I'll tell you this, you virtually never want to do that. When you click the thank you message, the entire word of mouth marketing system is shut down. No referrals, that's over. So you want to let them know, is it okay if I send you this coupon and encourage you to forward it with your family and friends? Awesome. That is how you send a review request. Now, I want to ask you to do this. I know you're just getting started with this. What I want you to do is after you have sent the first 50, 60, 70 review requests in the manner we have discussed in these three videos, contact us, call us, let's do a little checkup and look at your dashboard together. And by the way, what you're going to see, and this becomes very addictive, uh, the second button here is your dashboard. When customers respond, whether they write reviews, testimonials, you will be able to see everything that happens, and this is fantastic. If you are using the system properly, you should see a response rate between 50 and 80%. If you just send emails out and you don't do a good job and you don't ask, you're going to see response rates as low as 2%. It's atrocious. One out of 50 people responding. If you do what we talked about here, you can see as many as four out of five of your patients responding. And remember, they're not doing it because they feel like they have to. They're responding because they want to. If you have any further questions, and you will, I encourage you to go to support, come down here to contact support, and you'll see our telephone number, and you can email us your questions, et cetera, et cetera. With that, I wish you the very best. I know you're going to do a great job. I know you're going to see fantastic results because your customers love you. I'll talk to you later. Thank you. Goodbye.